actually going with the alchemist. I mean, they were like, is melee damage good, so. So, at least for me, two kind of surprise picks there at the end uh, with the Lich and the Alchemist. Alchemist definitely uh, fits what they were lacking. Tubby the Fat going to be playing that Visage. His micro is superb, so should see some big plays out of him. That he is unfamiliar with. Well, the struggle is going to be real, working with a little bit less uh, desk space than usual. But again, my name is Voodoo. You can find me on Twitter at Voodoo Dota, as well as on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Voodoo Dota. Jumping into this best of three, game one. Solid courier there from Root Gaming. And it is going to be Tolera on the puck. Flying Zebra. And that Shadow Shaman, Lycus, going to be in the mid lane playing Alchemist. Going to be your boy JC. Nice cosmetics, bro. Uh, your boy JC going to be playing Axe and Tubby the Fat on the Visage. That rounds out the root lineup. Now over to the Radiant side for Banana Ketchup. Going to be Prince the Noob on the Marana. So that will be a mid lane Marana, I would think. Uh, going to be Pin Guards playing the Bane. Uh, stand in, uh, Excite. Uh, what did I call him last time? I call him this every time. Hype for the three exclamation points. So Hype going to be in the mid lane with the Lycan. Jordan to battle. be playing the Lich. Going to have your mana. And Prestige Worldwide will be playing the Tide Hunter. So these lanes did come out uh, kind of odd, kind of unconventional, but... Looking like Root is really wanting to hold uh, top lane control, even putting in a lane ward up top. So, the battle begins. Looking to make the most out of those two. Illusion. Good old floppy fish, floppy fish wards. So Rune's going to be bottom. It will be an illusion picked up by Tolera. So it's going to be an off lane puck. A mid lane Lycus. Alchemist with the better uh, creep block there, and there goes that acid spray, but uh, but Hype gonna use that to his advantage on the deny. Both sides pulling uh, the creep aggro back and forth. Should be a good matchup here in the mid lane. Got a favor. Uh, the lichen, though. Snatched from the jaws of defeat. So Prince of Noob, it's actually going to be an offlane duo pair, which I think is excellent. It's going to force uh, Tubby the Fat, as well as Flying Zebra, to be on their P's and Q's. Uh, actually, going to be Jungle Axe, so. though. Definitely one that I haven't seen in a while. Uh, on the bottom lane, Tolera is going to have to be careful with all those anchor smashes. Can't get in too close. Especially with phase shift, uh, not going to be able to really fake that one. However, Prestige Worldwide, with the long cast animation on anchor smash, probably going to be able to bait out. Ooh, eating a frost blast there. So Tolera just a, just a quarter second behind there. Just a touch off the mark. But Alchemist Farm starting to come along now. Uh, Still waiting on wolves to come out for hype. Now we see a little bit uh, pin guards being a little bit aggressive, jumping up into the woods there, trying to put a bit of harass onto that duo lane. Sentry ward comes out. Not looking to allow any uh, backdoor pickups there. See Prestige Worldwide coming down here, doing exactly what he needs to do. Uh, picking up great CS right now, but uh, making sure to put the uh, put the fakes out there on Tolera. No faking that time. 
Gonna be able to phase shift out of it, however. Uh, Alchemist gotta be careful in, in the mid lane. Looks like Hype's been able to put a bit of harass on him. Nightmare on Tubby the Fat, flying the zebra, pulling that off of him. So it looks like they're trying to pick up a little, like, Tubby is uh, getting a little bit more farm priority than Flying Zebra, no surprise there. Uh, zebra always playing that hard five role. Oh, your boy JC getting dangerously low. Did pick up a stout shield, holding on to a salve as well. A little bit of regen. Denied. Flying Zebra with a touch of lane regen left. Tubby the Fat uh, with a bassy ring. No surprise there. Pretty, pretty standard lane builds at the moment. Looks like maybe Jordan's looking to come in and put some harass on Lycus. Lycus is dangerously low at the moment. Uh, one of the big things that Lycan brings to the table is that howl. Uh, that makes everyone's laning presence <laughs> on the Radiant side a bit more effective. Uh, so Jordan's still hanging back. They're trying to bait Alchemist up. This is just intuition there. So your boy JC looking to move in on another camp. Arrow's going to fly. Not going to connect on Lycus, however. Uh, if they could have landed that arrow, that would have been huge. Haste room spotted out top. They are going to leave that one. Going to leave that one for hype. Get that bottle up. Now Jordan swinging into the mid lane. Get a devour off here and there. Obviously realizing that with a couple of levels, uh, Prestige Worldwide really just needed uh, the XP and have any problem picking up farm. Leading the pack by a good little ways at the moment. Wow, Axe actually going down to a neutral. Had to self-deny. Ouch. Ouch. So Prince of Noob doing fairly well up here on the top lane not where he needs to be Dyer's by any means there's 10 last hits but you got to give a lot of respect uh, to that flying zebra you know to a, a shadow shaman and visage pair no familiars up just yet that's when things are really going to get interesting up here on the top so now with the maxed out wolves uh, able to spot out a bit hype looking around up here on the top lane we do have three rotated into the top now. Jordan slightly under leveled. And this dual lane up here on the top though is really, really hurting for XP. Uh, pin guards and Marana. So your Bane Marana way under leveled. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Lycus looking to make a little bit of damage on the tower there. Now try to farm up those wolves. Top tower is under attack. Oh. Hype picking up plenty of farm for himself. Your boy JC was wanting. He was hurting for it. But Medallion gonna go up on Visage now. See if he's... Nope, still no familiars. They are coming soon though. Illusion Rune quite spotted out but he knows it's there Radiant's middle tower is under I believe attack. like us an opportunity to put some more pressure on this mid tower first blood with the fish oh coming in so your boy JC That's picking up the first blood on prestige one. worldwide we will see a TP rotation in from Lich now in guards got to be careful tolerant trying to make it out the back you see illusory orb off but that not gonna be enough normal. now Hype is pounding away, and he's going to pick up a double kill before it's all said and done, so Tolera going down. And so they're going to lose Axe and Puck in that. Only trade-off was Prestige Worldwide. He's going to be TPing into the top lane now. Thanks. And now in come the Familiars, camping out in the trees right here. See if they're going to try and backdoor Prestige. Try and get a stun in, maybe a shackle into a stun. There's the soul substitute coming out. Oh, there's the shackle. He's just waiting, pounding away, dropping a lot of damage, trying to chain those stuns up. That's gonna be enough. Toby the Fat picking up a kill on Prestige Worldwide right there. Like I said in the draft, that was the danger of that duo. So Tolera coming back into the bottom line here. Has picked up the phase boots. 
I'm giving him a little bit more right click power now. You shall not. I think maybe with this lane rotation, uh, Prince Anu was hoping to get a little bit better farm. Uh, he was looking to get better farm down here in the bottom lane. I don't think it's going to come against this pup, <laughs> uh, especially in a 1v1 kind of situation as it stands. Nothing on the courier at the moment. So hype. And that will be the Vlads getting finished up there, so. Uh, Bane actually getting some farm priority in the mid lane now. See if maybe. See what they're working up with that. Maybe an early blink. Tolera moving into the mid lane. It looks like they're going to have a pretty solid rotation. A lot of posturing up. They're looking for it. Visage Bird's not quite out yet. Now your boy JC's going to go. There's the silence. Like is going to connect with the unstable concoction. That's going to pick up another kill in the mid lane. <clears throat> so these two Radiant just back and forth punch for punch. Yeah. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Oh, yep. Yeah. Going to use a glyph of fortification. Trying to save this T1 tower. Going to camp the wolves out right here. I pick up that deny, but Tolera is going to be able to pick up that last hit, so no troubles there. Boy JC making sure that he secured uh, all that farm. That's going to actually lead into putting a lot of pressure on this T2 now, so see if they follow it up. Nope. Said nope, all your jungle are belong to us. Prestige Worldwide getting dangerously close again. Jordan moving up into the top lane here, trying to give him a little bit of help. Hype, maybe looking to get a pick off here, trying to go on your boy JC. Oh man, the wolves are wrecking. Wolves hitting so hard. <clears throat> Arrow gonna fly, narrowly, narrowly missing flying zebra. That could have turned into a kill very quickly. Great juke. Zebra on his P's and Q's on that one. Lycus rotating down here into the bottom lane, though. Has picked up his face, but still holding on to a bottle. So we, ha we had a run in 6.79 where it was all Alchemist support, like every single game. Um, and I thought with the, with the nerfs that he took on Unstable Concoction that possibly, maybe... Um, oh man, they're going to commit the Mass Serpent Wards Radiant down here in the Roche Bit. Like is attack. looking to pick it up. Oh man, getting bashed. He's got to be careful. I don't know if the Serpent Wards are going to be enough to keep him out of trouble. Now it's going to be spotted out by the Wolves. I don't think there's anything they can do on this though. Maybe wait for Lycus to get lower. As soon as that Chemical Rage comes off. Oh man, up here in the top lane, Bane picking up a kill now on Tubby the Fat. So it looks like Hype is going to make moves on it. He was going for him. Oh, but he's going to catch Flying Zebra in the pit now. Oh, there's the Shackle. There's the Shackle. He is going to get the kill off. Now stand it. Uh, Hype in a lot of trouble. Going to be able to bail out the backside for the moment. Sacred Arrow going to fly. Who picks it up? Hype's going to be able to pick it up. But there's the dunk from your boy JC. Immediately taking it. A second dunk. Your boy JC going to get hit now. Hype. Wow. Able to steal that freaking Aegis. Brilliant play on his part. Now he's going to pick up the kill on your boy JC as well. A Ravage goes off. They only get one. Tubby the Fat in a whole lot of trouble. There's the Anchor Smash. They're still trying to pursue this. Prestige Worldwide. Oh, he gets another Anchor Smash, but the Wolves are going to be able to follow it up. Little Wolves get it off. Lycus gets the channeled stun. Now it's going the other way. They have no ultis to bounce back on this. Moonlight Shadow goes out. They're trying to get out of here. Jordan looking to pick up one. Illusory Orb goes. Oh, goes too high. Too high. Silence. Oh, got to be careful. Got the silence off on Hype. Oh, Hype's in a world of trouble. X goes out. And that's going to... Oh, wow. Lycus actually stuns himself. He couldn't get vision, but they are still going to secure the kill. So Hype goes down in the end of that. So it's been back and forth and back and forth, but uh, kill score just at 8-7. to seven, But uh, minor gold lead, about 2,500. Uh-oh. Prince of Noob in a whole lot of trouble. He does get the leap off... And there's another dump, but the Fiend's Grip goes out on your boy JC now. Your boy JC is going to go down. Ain't able to secure that one. Anchor Smash from Prestige Worldwide, but Pin Guard's going to come through with the Brain Sap. And that's going to pick up a kill. Lycus taking the Nightmare now. 
See if they can make any moves on this. So like is going to rotate TP rotate down here into the bottom lane, looking to pick up that mech not too far off. But just allowing Tubby the Fat, Space Creativity is looking to push down another T1. So that push potential of the visage that I spoke of. Arrow's gonna fly. Tubby the Fat, oh, just barely jukes that one. <clears throat> he had that familiar out there. It gave him an extra about half second of reaction time, so. A tubby actually coming in at 47 last hits. Lycus leading the pack though at 56. Tolera rotating down here. And these wolves are all freaking over. These wolves are going everywhere. Do you have the blink up on Puck? Just purchasing that. Uh oh. Prestige Worldwide going to be in trouble? Nope. Ward goes out. Cover is busted, you boy JC. Which way will he go? Which way will he go? Prestige Worldwide, he's going to walk straight into this one. Everybody gets spotted out. Oh, the Ward Trap. And there's the dunk going to finish that one up. Nobody's coming high side now. Oh, man, with a haste ring, no flying zebra. Can't make it over the top. Sacred Arrow going to fly. Not going to connect. Hype, what's he looking to pick up here? Zebra may actually have himself trapped. No, nope, he's trying to bail out the backside there. Here's the Frost Blast. And Hype is going to cut a swath through those mass serpent wards. Just pursuing. Hype had to know that he had no chance there. But another T1 going to fall. So uh, two down and one just on the absolute edge here. Prince of Noob, phase boots, and a Bassy Ring. Also picking up a Bracer. See if he turns that into some drums here pretty soon. Hype actually really got just a free Roche out of that. Uh, Roche, a couple of kills, everything. So his net worth definitely going to be getting a bit fatter. Yep, sitting up there. He's got about a, th a grand lead on the Alchemist. Oh, Dream Coil goes out and a Soul Assumption. Prince of Noob in a bad spot. Tyler going to be able to pick up the kill now. Get some. So maybe a rotation in on the mid lane. Oh, your boy JC in a bad spot. Lich ulti going to go off and clean up some creeps pretty much. Uh, I think it was a wasted ult. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. So they do finally power through. Uh, a little bit of space created with them going on your boy JC in the mid lane. It looks like they're going to push up and try and put the hurt attack. on this bottom tower. Mass Serpent Ward's coming off cooldown in just... Five seconds. Not going to commit it to that T3, though. Not just yet, at least. Uh, no blink up for Shadow Shaman. Not in the near future. It is going to be Ag's visage. Getting a ton of farm priorities. Already got uh, that medallion of courage. So, a lot of negative armor. Uh, I mean, not overwhelming, but just a lot of negative armor in general uh, with the acid spray. Now the Master of Words comes out. They're going to be pushing on this T3. It looks like uh, Banana Ketchup are just looking for a trade at this point. Glyph was available. That bottom T2 is going to go see if they try and TP back to defend. No, not going to be the case. Acid spray going out. Not going to make anything of it though, so Banana Ketchup forced to 5 man at this point. Ravian's top tower is under attack. Tolera's uh, Blink Dream Cools could be huge. Uh, adversely, uh, anything, anytime Prestige Worldwide can jump in and get 2, maybe 3 for the Ravage, that's going to be big as well. Uh, I would expect them to maybe just... I don't know if they're going to commit an ulti to it, but Lycus has got to be careful here. Did he hear the wolves? Did he hear it? He did. Great pathing using the phase boots. He's going to swing back out the Many other side. So, uh, Working on a BKB for hype. He's not too far off. And Jordan doing what the Lich does so damn annoyingly. So uh, Lich, the Lich pickup actually, I wouldn't say it counters. Sacred Arrow going to fly, doing a bit of scouting. Nothing to be found. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And that will be drums out now for Prince the Noob. And the push is on. Dyer's bottom wow. tower has fallen. 
so Hype is just about to pick up his BKB. And on top of that, holding on to a haste turn as well. Sacred Arrow going to fly. Not going to connect. Tolera throwing the illusory orb. Uh, Toby the Fat still steadily free farming away. He is not far off. Maybe another uh, minute and a half. Maybe two minutes away. Oh, your boy JC. Got to be careful over here. He has picked up that blink. Working on a blade mail. This T2 is going to go down quickly. That the push power of the Lycan. Mass Serpent Wards actually to defend this T3. Tubby sees the TPs coming in. He said, hey guys, I'm getting the, f getting the hell out of Dodge. BKB is on the way for hype now. Oh, Prestige Worldwide hung around. Didn't go with the TPs. He's going to get caught out. So Toby the Fat got pushed back off of it. See what he's able to make out of this one. Hype picking up a double damage. That is scary. You gotta expect them to want to fight uh, and or push on that. Up in that haste rune. T1 top up here is in a whole lot of trouble. <clears throat> Hype coming in, creating some space. Uh, Tolera and Tubby. Notice how Tubby is always keeping Jesse uh, out of fallen. sight, out of mind, but always on the back side of the objective. Always keeping them skirted out there in front of him. Anybody steps in, they're probably going to get picked off. One would think. Oh, oh, the gush from BK. Uh, excuse me, from. Prestige Worldwide, Lycus, oh, barely gets TP'd out of there. Oh, man, actually channeled that channeled that up on the way in. Don't think he got it off. Prince the Noob getting wrecked. Got to watch out for the dunks. There's one. As soon as that blinks back up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Prince the Noob going to go down, even with the Moonlight Shadows. So, uh, another ulti burnt for naught. But three. Three going down. So, Root picking it back up. Coming in, getting close. To, uh, that 5,500 mark on the gold lead and probably sitting around 70, just over 7,000. Oh, oh man, Visage able to, uh, Tubby the Fat able to actually scoop one there. His Visage birds, the familiars doing work. Uh oh, Medallion goes out on Prestige Worldwide. Now he's got to be careful. Kraken Shell gonna save BK for the moment. Boy JC coming in. Uh oh, there's the nightmare. Gonna connect with the arrow now. Anchor smash. And uh, Prince the Noob actually going to be picking up the kill there. Hype actually uh, went ahead and pushed that double damage rune. Gonna try and make do a do a bit of damage here in the mid lane. Looking for Roche, they're going to gonna commit the Mass Serpent Wards. Now Like is standing in here with the Chemical Rage, trying to tank this one out. They're trying to put the herd on it. Your boy JC standing on the back door, does have that Blade Mail and Urn up. So he's looking to protect this one. <clears throat> no Wolves coming in this time. Hype. Uh, their Ward Vision has been a pretty lackluster. Roshan has fallen to the dire. So your boy JC gonna scoop the Aegis. No, no real damage item. He's just like a utility alchemist. Um, he's really not hitting that hard at the moment. Jordan picked up his own urn. Probably gonna go into a four staff with that staff of wizardry. I would expect. I would think Tolera gonna bottle up that double damage rune. So Tubby the Fat with a finished, uh, with a finished Ag Scepter. So some more familiars in the mix. Banana Ketchup going to pop the smoke of deceit. They're trying to backdoor this. 
to be the fact, got to be careful for whatever reason they're rotating down a bit. Your boy JC trying to hang back. We can get that blink initiation in. Maybe catch him out of position. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boy JC actually going to be the first one spotted out. He's going to blink away. What the? Like us, not going to go back on this one. Actually going to blink by himself a little bit more time, but now they're doing work on Prestige Worldwide. Sacred Arrow going to fly, not going to connect. There is a Dream Core, but the Ravage follows back. Now the Lich Ulti comes out. Oh, Lycus gets wrecked. So he just gets popped. Tubby the Fat on the run. However, Hype going to be able to take him down. Flying Zebra going to be careful, but he does get the Ward Trap on Hype. Hype is in a bad spot. Lycus going to pick up the kill, kill secured, but uh, with that unstable concoction. Which way did he blink, George? Which way did he blink? Dominating. You might wish to retract your last move. And now Tolera even picking up the kill on Prince Anu back here on the backside. So all the momentum uh, going the way of Root at the moment. UK popping that Ravage. They don't really have anything to fight with right now. They're not going to be able to defend this T2. Just no way I would expect yeah, a T2 push right attack. here. And then rotating into the bottom lane, secure another T2. Or they could actually probably, they, honestly, they could really push T3. Uh, with Ravage being down. There's a Fiend's grip available, however. Prestige Worldwide. Getting baited out on the Anchor Smash. But Lycus... You can use that blink dagger and the phase boots. Uh oh, gotta watch out. Heard the arrow coming. Melee creep. Gonna eat that one. Prestige worldwide coming in. Just flash farming up here. Now, like, it's gonna come in with unstable concoction. Connects on Prestige Worldwide. See if they try to lock him down right here. There is one familiar son. There is another. Uh oh, you boy JC. He was waiting for it. Double dream coil. Now the Fiend's Grip goes out on Toller. Oh, one goes down. <laughs> like us on a killing spree now. Hype in a whole lot of trouble. He's eating so much damage. Oh, uh, Prince Noob gets locked down as well. Your boy JC, there's one dunk. Does he get another? Does he get another? Oh! Save for the moment by the Nightmare, but Pin Guards is on the run. Medallion goes out. He is getting hammered. Absolutely hammered. Like us wailing away. He has picked up. So that's going to be enough. Now Bane going to fall. Prestige Worldwide trying to get out of there, but the big shackle from Flying Zebra. Now the Wolves coming in. Uh-oh, your boy JC could be in a bit of trouble. He's trying to make it out of here, trying to make it out. What are you wicking, Jeremy? Telling you Don't know that Hype is going to be able to save anybody here. He does get the howl off. He's trying to go on like us. That Chemical Rage keeping him in the fight at the moment. Oh, man. Prestige Worldwide, Shiva Ravage, not going to connect with anyone, so now Ravage is on cooldown again. Two minutes. Two minutes they really can't fight. Uh, they just don't have it. Oh, like us. Going to be able to get the unstable concoction off. Prince Anub going to eat that one. It was short channel, though. Uh, needs mana. No mana for... Uh, do they even have any arcanes? Nope. Treads on the Shadow Shaman. Uh-oh, Sacred Arrow going to fly. Who's it going to connect with? Narrowly dodging it. Tubby the Fat. On his P's and Q's once again. <clears throat> so, Tyler are rotating down now. This top lane is starting to push back a little bit. Mid lane still across the river on the Radiant side. Sacred Arrow going to fly. Not going to spot anyone out, though. Got to be careful here. Tolera has picked up the scythe. So Sheepstick is out. Silence. PK going to pick up smoke again. See if they can make something happen here. Hype looks like uh, with that Invis rune. He does have Necros now as well. To pick up some jungle farm. Maybe try and push up a little bit further. He knows he can't farm his own jungle right now. So... <clears throat> See where Talara wants to go. Maybe looking to get a jungle pick off there. Maybe they were expecting Hype to be uh, trying to farm that side of the Radiant Jungle. Your boy JC well on his way to Ashivas. Uh oh, three gonna rotate up. They are smoked up. Prince the noob. Uh, so it's gonna be uh, Potom. 
Lich and Tide Hunter. Just 25 seconds left before they can get that Ravage. It looks like they want to. Uh oh, gonna be a courier pick here. Prince the Noob pulling that one off. Gonna leap in. Arrow's gonna fly, but can they keep him locked down long enough? Nope, Prince the Noob's gonna eat one. But uh, after the Frost Blast, Hype gonna make sure that he picks up the kill there. But Tubby the Fat just steadily split pushing. Silence. Prestige, you better be careful. Those familiars have just been wrecking, man. Straight up wrecking. So South of Ice goes out on Hype. Hype's on the run. He does pop BKB. Now he's trying to go. Now he's trying to go. Your boy JC, got to be careful here. Got to be mo careful. Quickly, quickly going to clean that lane out, though. I've been using his ulti. Let's have that invis rune. Game. See if maybe he's waiting around to try and go just on JC, possibly. But net worth steadily climbing for Lycus. Necro 3 coming out for Lycan, so, uh, and Lycus is steadily farming away. He does have a Hyperstone now. Would expect that to be an AC here pretty shortly. Now, uh, with the way his farm's been going. What do I see? What do I see? Lycus coming into this one, maybe, I really don't think he even knows that Hype's there. Oh, he's going for him, though. He's content to just farm away. But if Flying Zebra can get around the backside, oh, he got spotted out. Let's see if those. Uh oh, in comes the Nightmare. So the rotation was there. There's the Frost Blast. Was able to get the hex off, and now Moonlight Shadow, so they're not going to have to hang around long. Prestige Worldwide. With an Anchor Smash. So, Hype, we're going to pick up another kill now. Sitting at 9 and 3, but your boy JC, 9 and 6. So, gold lead looking something like 14k in the favor of Root. So, uh, BK, I really just don't know what they can do at this point other than, than push. They're going to have to split and push. All this action going down on the bottom lane. Ravage does go out. Tyler going to be able to phase shift. Misses him for the moment. Fiend's grip committed as well. Now Hype comes into the mix. Uh-oh, your boy JC is going to pick up one kill, no dunk. One kill, no dunk. Prestige Worldwide gets the gush off. They're going to steadily go on it. Shivas gets popped. Oh, picking up another one. So Tolerant going to be able to pick up a kill for himself now. Double Dream Cool. Stable Concoction. Who's he going for? Prestige Worldwide is going to get hit. Must not have been channeled too long. That double damage. Oh, Prestige Worldwide able to use that bottle to get away for at least a moment there. Not getting overly committed here. All them necros. <clears throat> like it's just gonna eat them up. Oh, Hype gets it. That's one fast ass pig. Tolerate goes out again. There's the halberd. The halberd to counter the lichen, but now it's worn off. Hype steadily trying to go, trying to chase down a familiar here. Trying to get a familiar. He picks up one. Tolerate coming. Back to the backside with the illusory orb. Gonna get a stun off on Prestige Worldwide. Oh, there's the nightmare. They're trying to set this one up. Hype ready to go. Oh, but immediately Flying Zebra comes in with the Mass Serpent Wards, and now the tables have turned. Lycus. Got a brain sap on him. Oh, he's trying to go. Not gonna be enough. Oh, Prestige Worldwide caught in the acid spray. There's the stun. Where's the stun? He got it just in time. Gonna cancel out the TP. A short hex because of that Kraken shell, but that is going to be the GG call from Prince Anub. So, banana ketchup, go down. Uh, Root Gaming picking up game one in this best of three. So, uh, all in all, excellent, uh, excellent strategies, excellent play by both teams. Uh, however, that, uh, that split push visage, I think that was huge. Uh, flying Zebra being in the right place at the right time, that was big. And all them dunks. Uh, you would think with at 9 and 7, 
Uh, your boy JC would probably have picked up a few more levels than that. But...